Love 52, how are you out there? It's Thursday of week 20, you know, and you know what I'm doing this week. I'm making necklaces and bracelets for my sister Lori and her husband Brian and my nephew Cielo and my niece Mia Jo, you know, they're down in Peru. And, you know, I'm sharing these details with you, what I'm doing, just to give you ideas and let you know how loving people, there's so many ways we can do it. And we can do it even when people are not in our physical presence. They're in Peru. I don't know how many miles away that is. You know, it's a different time zone and different country and, you know. But I can love them. And loving other people will naturally, if it's authentic, if we are authentically loving other people, it will naturally positively impact us. And I don't do it for that reason but I know that it's going to, and I'm willing to receive it, and I accept it. And so I'm making these things for them. I told you I would let you see what I'm doing along the way. So you've already seen these necklaces. Lori, Mia Jo, and Brian, or uh, Cielo. Brian's is coming, I haven't made it yet. And then you saw one of these the other day, but a couple bracelets for Mia Jo and Lori. And then there's these bracelets for Brian and Cielo and then I'm gonna make Brian a necklace and send it off on Saturday I don't know how long it'll take to get to Peru it's like that it's many many miles away in a different country so they'll get it maybe in two weeks three weeks four weeks I don't know but I am loving them and, and there's so many ways we can spread love right you can make someone a cup of coffee one second you can make someone a cup of coffee. You can make someone a sandwich. You know, you can bring them ice cream. You can, maybe you got people in your life, friends. Maybe you just getting taken, paying them a visit and bringing them some ice cream. Maybe that would be a great thing to do. Or look, not everything has to do with money. It's really about giving people. It's about giving your interest, time, energy, and attention. There's so many ways to do it. And, and I'm just sharing with you some ways that I chose to do it this week. Spread and love. And yesterday I told you, you know, that sometimes we just don't have it in us. We don't have, you know, maybe life is just too challenging for you in various ways, right? Could be health-wise, it could be work-wise, it could be finances. It, there's so many different ways that Sometimes life just is maybe overwhelming and, and maybe we just don't have the energy at the moment to give energy, to give idea to other people. You know, maybe, maybe we need to be the ones receiving it at times. And, and I'm sure I, I've, I have been there and I'm, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure you have too, where you needed to receive idea from people you needed to receive love from other people you know and after I shot the video yesterday acknowledging this and letting you know that it's okay if you're in a position or in a place in life at the moment where you just don't have it in you to give to other people that's understandable and please don't get down on yourself don't beat yourself up this here is about what you know conversation and sharing about simplifying love life isn't always simple and that after shooting the video a couple hours later hit me smack in the face a dear one to me needs love needs idea you know needs to be reminded of how valuable and important this individual is you know, because sometimes we don't feel it. And so sometimes we don't believe it. And, you know, maybe there's someone in your life who could just really need, who could really benefit from authentic love. And the person I'm thinking about, you know, this person's going to receive love, mine and many other people's. And, maybe even some ice cream. So spread love and realize that life's not always simple. 
but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to reach out to other people if, if you could use, if you could benefit from their idea. Let them know you're not a burden when people choose to give idea. When, if I choose to love you, if I choose to go through life with you, because I choose, you cannot be a burden. The choice negates burden from existing. Sometimes we don't remember that or we don't realize that. So take care of yourself, love yourself, spread love and accept it when it's given to you. I'll talk to you later. Take care.